In April 2023, astrophotographers noticed that Mercury appears like a comet when the planet is closest to the Sun, revealing its massive tail, which becomes visible in the night sky. This tail is most noticeable from Earth, approximately 16 days after perihelion, when Mercury is closest to the Sun. For example, in 2023, Mercury reached perihelion on April 1st, and its tail was brightest on April 17th. Welcome to our thrilling video about the mysterious world of Mercury, the closest planet to our Sun. It is one of the most intriguing planets in the solar system and holds many secrets, which we will uncover today together with you. Get ready for an exciting journey. Mercury has a very thin atmosphere and is the smallest of all the planets. Being the closest planet to the Sun, it has the shortest orbit. Mercury's orbit is significantly elongated, so the distance from Mercury to the Sun varies from 46 to 70 million kilometers. It is interesting that due to its proximity to the Sun, temperatures on Mercury can be extremely extreme due to the specific conditions on the planet, reaching over 430 degrees Celsius during the day and dropping to minus 180 degrees Celsius at night. The proximity to the Sun poses certain challenges for telescopic observation of Mercury. For example, the Hubble Space Telescope has never been used and will not be used to observe this planet. Its design does not allow for observations of objects close to the Sun, as attempting to do so could damage the equipment. The rotational speed around its axis is relatively slow compared to its speed around the Sun reaching 170,000 kilometers per hour. Due to its small size and low gravitational force, Mercury cannot retain a significant atmosphere like our planet Earth. Therefore, the atmospheric pressure on Mercury is almost negligible compared to Earth's standards. On Mercury, the gravitational force is weaker than on Earth. The gravitational force on an object with a mass of one kilogram or 0.5 pounds on Mercury is approximately 3.7 newtons, which is about 38 of the gravitational force on Earth. Mercury has a very thin atmosphere, primarily composed of liquid metallic mercury oxide, which evaporates from the planet's surface. This atmosphere is extremely tenuous and has virtually no impact on atmospheric pressure on Mercury. Please note that although the gravitational force on Mercury is weaker than on Earth, it does not mean that objects on Mercury will have less mass or be lighter. The mass of an object remains constant regardless of its location. While gravitational force depends on the mass of the object and the strength of the planet's gravitational pull, it is interesting to compare the effects of centrifugal force on both planets. Centrifugal force arises due to the rotation of the planet around its axis. Mercury rotates slowly so the centrifugal force is relatively weak. However, Earth rotates much faster, resulting in a more pronounced centrifugal force on Earth. This can have an impact on geological processes and the formation of the planet's surface. Overall, comparing the gravitational force on Mercury and Earth, it is worth noting that this is one aspect that distinguishes these two planets. Understanding these differences helps us better comprehend the diversity and uniqueness of our solar system and the planets that comprise it. Due to Mercury's small orbital tilt and slow rotational speed, it lacks pronounced seasons observed on Earth. This is because the planet's axis of rotation is nearly perpendicular to the plane of its orbit. As a result, extreme heat dominates during the day and cold temperatures prevail at night on Mercury with the absence of distinct seasons. As a result, there are regions near the poles where sunlight never reaches. Research conducted by the Arecibo Radio Telescope and the Messenger spacecraft suggests that these cold and dark areas contain ice. The ice layer in these regions can reach up to two meters thick and occasionally protrudes to the surface. Mercury has an intriguing geography that makes it even more fascinating. It features large mountain ranges and numerous craters. Captivating craters are scattered across the planet's surface, formed by collisions with cosmic objects that have impacted Mercury over millions of years. The largest crater on Mercury is Caloris, which has a diameter of approximately 1550 kilometers. 
Mercury is rich in various minerals. Although its economic potential is currently difficult to assess due to its low gravity, high temperatures, and unusual surface conditions. The main minerals known on Mercury include Mercury. Mercury acquired its name due to the presence of this metal on its surface. Mercury is a primary constituent element of the planet and is the most valuable mineral resource on this planet. Sulfides. On the surface of Mercury, sulfides have also been found, including metal sulfides, such as pyrite and zinc blend. They may contain valuable metals, such as gold, silver, and copper. Basaltic rocks. Mercury contains basaltic, like rocks, which are also common on the moon. These rocks may contain valuable metals, but their potential still requires further investigation. It is important to note that the lack of specific data and expeditions to Mercury currently limits our knowledge of its valuable resources. Further research and future space missions may provide more information about the valuable minerals and resources of Mercury. However, it is not as straightforward as it may seem. One of the main challenges lies in developing a safe landing method on Mercury. The lack of atmosphere on the planet complicates the landing process as there is no opportunity to utilize atmospheric friction as an efficient braking mechanism. As a result, controlling the speed during landing will require significant efforts and the use of heavy propulsion systems. The continuous increase in speed during descent to the surface of Mercury will demand careful trajectory planning and the utilization of powerful braking systems. Mercury Although slightly larger than the Moon, has a massive iron core compared to its relatively thin crust, making it extraordinarily dense for its size. This high density means that the gravitational pull on the planet is only one, third of that on Earth. However, there is a challenge when it comes to traveling to Mercury. The journey to this planet requires a complex trajectory that can take between six to seven years not to mention the elevated levels of radiation near the Sun. This is considering the fact that technically Mercury is considered one of our closest planetary neighbors. Even without considering human passengers, such a journey would be a significant achievement. Landing a spacecraft on Mercury could help unravel many mysteries of the planet and open up new perspectives on the smallest planet in the solar system. Developing an efficient landing module will be a key task in achieving a safe landing on Mercury. It is important to develop technologies that will ensure sufficient control over the speed and precision of the landing on its surface. Considering the challenges associated with a planet that has an almost negligible atmosphere, the development of a specialized landing apparatus capable of landing on Mercury will require innovative solutions and significant engineering efforts. However, the success of such a mission will provide us with valuable scientific data and expand our understanding of the smallest planet in the solar system. Another intriguing feature of Mercury is its magnetosphere. Despite having a very weak magnetic field, it still helps protect Mercury from harmful solar radiation. Mercury's magnetosphere is formed as a result of the interaction between its iron core and the solar wind. Astrophotographer Sebastian Voltmer captured an impressive image of Mercury's tail on April 12th, near the observation station in Spicherer, located in northeastern France. He was able to capture the massive trail using a special filter that isolates the yellow light emitted by excited sodium particles in the tail. Voltmere explained that without such a filter, Mercury's tail is almost invisible to the naked eye. Thus, Mercury, being the smallest planet in the solar system, is found to have a comet-like tail, composed mainly of sodium ions scattered from the planet's surface by the solar wind and impacts from micrometeoroids. Scientists have been aware of Mercury's tail since 2001 and have determined that its size varies depending on the planet's proximity to the Sun. According to studies, at its peak size, Mercury's tail measures approximately 14.9 million miles which is roughly 62 times the distance between the Earth and the Moon. The tail extends over such a vast distance due to Mercury's very tenuous atmosphere and its close proximity to the Sun, which allows the solar wind to easily sweep away particles from the planet's surface. 
It's interesting to note that Mercury is not the only celestial body in the solar system with a similar comet, like tail. For example, the moon also has a tail that becomes visible only when the Earth passes through it, carrying it like a scarf. The moon's tail, similar to Mercury's, is primarily composed of millions of sodium atoms. Studying the comet-like tail of Mercury will allow researchers to gather more information about the interaction of this planet with the solar wind and micrometeoroids. Understanding these processes can make a significant contribution to our overall understanding of the formation and evolution of the planets in the solar system. Humanity has always been eager to explore Mercury, and we have had several exciting missions that have provided us with a wealth of new information about this planet. One of the most significant missions was the MESSENGER mission, which began in 2004 and studied Mercury for many years. It provided us with incredible images of the planet and expanded our knowledge of its composition and structure. Mercury remains a source of numerous mysteries, and scientists are already planning new missions that will help us delve even deeper into its enigmatic world. For example, the European Space Agency plans to launch the Beppe Colombo, mission in 2024, which will extensively study Mercury and its atmosphere. Another upcoming mission, Mercury Scout, will head to Mercury in the 2030s to investigate its geological activity and search for traces of water. Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun, continues to captivate our imagination and pique our curiosity. Its mysterious geography, unique characteristics, and potential for scientific exploration make it an incredibly fascinating object for study. May future missions to Mercury bring us even more knowledge and uncover more secrets of this extraordinary planet. Thank you for having me on this exciting journey to Mercury. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to receive more updates and information. Stay tuned for more.